So you might be asking yourself, why is Chris showing me luggage? Uh, this is not a watch. However, uh, this is actually the packaging for the Mirage 8-Day from Zelos. It comes in this, which looks like an attache case or a briefcase. It actually has zippered sides, so it zippers all the way up and down on both sides. It actually opens up completely flat and it has space for 10 watches and straps. And I don't even know how many straps, probably a good amount if you want to fit them. Uh, it's closed by some magnets, so the magnets just come up like that. Uh, and then there's some buckles on here. It looks like the hardware looks like it's been uh, aged uh, or distressed. You open it up. All the inside is actually this brown suede color. It is signed Zelos right there, the Z. Open it all the way up and it's mirrored on the other side. Uh, there are five pockets and then you have spaces here for straps. You get uh, a watch in here, that is the Mirage. Uh, you of course get the warranty card that we are very familiar with. It is the perforated metal warranty card from Zelos. Uh, I'll just throw that back in. You could definitely fit a lot of straps here. They only sent one strap with it. That is the rubber strap. Uh, I believe it is molded to the case. We'll look at that during the full review. This is a really nice case. Uh, and like I said, I had to actually zoom my camera out to fit this case in the actual shot. Uh, what I'll do now is I'll zoom back in uh, and we'll take a look at the watch and talk about some specs. So here is the watch. You can see the star of the show right off the bat is the dial and that movement. Obviously this is a semi-skeletonized movement. You get a sapphire dial. There are applied indices that are applied directly to that sapphire dial. You have a sapphire crystal, of course, with anti-reflective coating. The back is also see-through. You can see the movement from the back, and that is another piece of sapphire crystal. This is a full titanium watch. It is about 42 millimeters is what I measure, depending on where you actually measure the watch from. Uh, if you don't include those crown guards, it's just under 42 millimeters at 41 0.8, but if you include those crown guards, it's a little bit above 43 millimeters at 43.4, but it wears like a 42 millimeter watch is what I would say, and I have actually been wearing it. It has a true lug to lug because you get uh, male end links on here. However, they don't protrude, which is really nice. Uh, very nice bracelet on here, all titanium as well. So titanium case, bracelet, case back, crown, bezel, uh, I believe everything except for the mechanism inside the buckle itself is not titanium. So 48.4 millimeters lug to lug. Uh, and then the thickness on here is just about 13 millimeters thick, I believe. 12.9 uh, millimeters thick is what I measure, including both sapphire crystals, which is pretty good. Now the crown is a little bit on the smaller side. Uh, which is 6.1, but it definitely works and it is grippy. Um, it has those crown guards and it does stick out a nice amount. It is not screwed down, so you can easily wind the watch. So let's take a look. And it controls, obviously, when you add, uh, when you wind, it adds power to the power reserve. Uh, and that power reserve there at the uh, 12 o'clock position or just below the 12 o'clock position. Then you have a small seconds there at just above the six o'clock position. Uh, all of the indices, the rings, uh, the hands, everything that is on this dial is sort of a glossy blackened uh, color. The hands are interesting hands, very, very interesting hands. One of the nicest hands that I've ever seen on any Zelos for sure, 100%, but they're actually one of the most interesting hands that I've seen in a very long time. They sort of look like something from Star Trek. They uh, are very pointy and sharp. Uh, they have a lot of facets. There's a lot of points to them, um, and it looks like a weapon from Star Trek or something like that. It's really cool. Uh, there's a lot of loom on the dial as well, so all of those indices are heavily filled with loom, liberally applied with loom, so are the hands. All of the hands are filled with loom that even for the sub-registers. All of the minute track is loomed and then even the tracks on the sub-seconds and the power reserve, those are loomed as well. So you get a good amount of loom even though it's more on the dressy side of things in, in the uh, sort of lineup of watches from Zelos. Uh, the case back is bead blasted. You can see the movement as I mentioned. Uh, everything on here is either bead blasted or brushed. So everything on the buckle, on the bracelet, on the case is either bead blasted or brushed. You get a circular brushing 
on the actual bezel and then you get vertical brushing uh, with a chamfered edge which is also brushed on the case itself. The case is finished very nicely. The bracelet is finished very nicely. A very fluid bracelet on here feels really nice uh, and looks really nice. You of course get the standard buckle from Zelos. Nothing is sharp on here. Everything is finished very nicely. Um, and then you have the quick adjustment for uh, if your wrist expands so you could just adjust it on the fly. It is a little bit tight, uh, but usually that works in, especially since this is titanium, I would imagine it needs to work in a little bit. Uh, very nice solid action on here, as you could hear it. Uh, I really like that they move to this single deployment, uh, and this is really, really uh, a very nice option to have. $3,900 for this watch is not incredibly expensive when you're considering the movement. Now, the movement is an eight-day movement, so it's a hand-wound movement. Uh, you wind it up, you get eight days of power reserve. It is made by Le Jeu Pere. It is a twin barrel, eight-day power reserve movement. Uh, Le Jeu Pere are owned by the Citizen Group, so they make watches and make actual movements, excuse me, for watches like Arnold & Son, but they have also sold their movements to plenty of other manufacturers out there in the Richemont group and other independent brands, really a lot of independent brands, um, actually use their movements as well. A lot of those watches are priced in the tens of thousands of dollars. This is actually $3,900. So considering in the realm of where this watch is playing, this is actually a really good price when compared to other watches in this realm, in this lineup or sort of genre of watch. This is a Halo watch from Zelos, and what they are trying to do is make themselves or distinguish themselves as an independent brand as they sort of move up market, but they are still at the same time making watches like that Mako version three. And that Mako version three does benefit from some of the Halo watch sort of uh, specs. Like this is a titanium watch, as I mentioned, that Mako version three was also a, a titanium watch. So that's the recent version that they just came out with in titanium. That gets an extra hard coating. That's a DLC coating that they actually put on the watch itself. That helps save the watch from getting scratches. Now we know that titanium, when you're wearing titanium, scratches a lot and uh, it eventually does not look good. And if you ever have a titanium watch, you'll notice that on the actual buckle, you get tons of scratches. Now I've been wearing this for a few days uh, and there's not one scratch on this buckle whatsoever. Uh, and that's really, really good. So now you can get a Mako version three in titanium for $449 and it has that technology on it. So that's really good when you're considering that you're not spending a lot of money on that watch. Now what you're paying for here is definitely the movement, the caliber of movement that this is, the finish of movement. I'm gonna do a lot of close-ups of the case back. I'm gonna do a lot of close-ups of the dial because that is really what this watch is about. If you appreciate these high-end movements, then you will love this watch. And I have to say, I am very impressed with this watch and I am heavily considering buying a version of this watch. I'm not a too big of a fan of the Glacier colorway because I like a little contrast from the case color. So I would prefer the actual darkened dial or one with the darkened movement. I'm not sure if they if they actually make that. I know they make one with the darkened uh, sapphire. I'm not sure if they make one with an actual darkened movement. I'm gonna check it out. Uh, I know that they make ones with Damascus, so those are actually sold out already which is Damascus version uh, of titanium. I believe those sold out immediately. Those were actually more expensive. This is the least expensive out of the lot. And I have to say, it's probably the most appealing. I wanna check this out on a strap. I'm going to do a full review of this. I'm gonna be wearing this and I will do a full review for you guys. Uh, and we will talk about you know the, the ups and downs of owning a watch like this. Of course, I don't own it, but I will be returning it, but I'll be wearing it over the next few days. And I wanna just talk about you know what it is like to wear a very high-end micro brand, which is kind of weird. So is it a micro independent? Is it an independent watch? Uh, it's coming from micro brands, so there's going to be people out there who spent $300 on a watch that has the Zelos name on it, and then there's going to be people out there who have uh, seven, ten thousand dollar watches, three thousand, four thousand dollar watches with that same name on there. So I'm not sure how to feel about that, and we're gonna, you know, I'm gonna try it out. And I'm gonna wear it 
Uh, I might even wear it to a couple of events, watch events, and see what people, uh, how people re react to it as well. Anyway, very quickly, I'm gonna throw it on my wrist, and then I'm going to do a loom shot. Loom on these watches, always good. I've seen the loom on this, it is excellent. Let's quickly throw it on my wrist. Today, I'm wearing a very interesting watch and a very bright watch. It actually almost does not pick up well on the camera. This is the Oceanographer from Bulova. It is the Devil Diver. It's the most recent version that they came out with in 41 millimeters. Very, very bright orange dial. Very cool watch. I really do like it. Uh, and this is on loan from Bulova as well. I'm super excited about that. And I'll be doing a full review on that very, very soon. So I have this size to my wrist. As I mentioned, I already started wearing it a little bit. It wears like a 42 millimeter. It wears very, very light. And in the full review, I'll give you the full specs on uh, how much it weighs and things like that. Um, I really like the bracelet. It's very comfortable. It's a very comfortable watch uh, and a very good looking watch. $3,900 for a brand that sort of make more affordable watches, I want to call them. They don't make low quality watches. They make actually very high quality watches. They've continue to improve those watches. Uh, and this is basically showing them, uh, you know, the universe, what they can actually do. And uh, this is pretty spectacular, I, I have to say. And I do think it's worth every bit of that $3,900. So if you're looking for something that is crazy and off the wall, uh, but you don't want to spend a ton of money, this is actually a really good option. Um, if you want something from an independent brand, but you don't want to spend $20, 10, 20, 30, $40,000, this is a good option. So I think that's kind of what Elshon is going for here. And he's grabbed my attention, I have to say. Uh, anyway, I'm going to do a quick loom shot and then we'll wrap up the video. Well, there you have it. I've said it a few times, Zelos do a excellent job with loom, liberally applied here to the indices and hands. You even have it on that minute track, on the sub dials, you have uh, loom applied as well, even on the hands of the uh, subdials as well. Uh, C3, BGW9, very liberally applied. They never really let down when it comes to Loom. They always do show up and do a good job. Even the Nova, which was sort of their Swiss uh, powered uh, uh, dress watch, they put Loom on there. That was really good as well. This looks good, um, feels really good. I really do like this. Uh, a lot. And actually, the speaking of the Nova, this is sort of like a bulked up Nova case as well. So uh, definitely a lot of similarities there as well. Beautiful watch. Uh, I really do like this watch a lot. I think it is very well made. Um, the actual movement itself is really the star of the show. It's the reason why you would buy this watch if you are interested in something like this. Um, there is, you know, it's like a stepping stone to the independent watch realm. Uh, of higher end, more bespoke type watches. Uh, that's where I see this at. So if you don't wanna spend tens of thousands, you could spend just a few thousand dollars and get into that arena. Something really cool um, and something that not a lot of people will have. Obviously, this is a very rare watch as well because of the nature of the brand. Um, just really cool. I really do like this watch a lot. And like I said, I'm gonna see if I can get one. I, I have to really think about it. Um, I, I do like this colorway. I don't like it as much as maybe something with a darker dial because I like the contrast between the case and the dial a little bit more, uh, but that's just me. Uh, I think this is a good looking watch as it is, but just not for me maybe. Uh, but anyway, tell me what you guys think of this watch in the comments below. Eight day power reserve, hand wound movement, Swiss made, Le Jupere. It's owned by Citizen, but it's a very high end watch manufacturer. Titanium coating, uh, so it's a scratch resistant titanium. Uh, a lot of little details. They did a really good job on this watch, but tell me what you guys think in the comments below. Please also don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that bell icon. It is super helpful for the channel and I very much appreciate it. Please follow me on Instagram. My Instagram is watchchrisblog. I have some links in the description. Those links are to Amazon. If you click those links and buy anything, it helps support the channel. It doesn't cost you anything extra. However, I very much appreciate it. Anyway, thank you for logging on. I'll catch you guys in the next video.